Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new customers into your company file, you should ensure that you have the customer defaults set as desired to prevent having to enter repetitive data values into each new customer record that you create. You can access the default customer settings within the customer defaults window by choosing maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to default information, and then choosing the customers command. The customer defaults window is where you set the values that you wish to have appear by default for new customer records as you create them within Sage 50. Setting the most frequently assigned customer options here means that you won't typically have to enter as much data as would otherwise be needed when you create a new customer record within the company file in the future. In the Customer Defaults window, you can click the Terms and Credit tab to set what will be considered the standard terms for customer payments. Remember that you are setting the default values here, so you want to set the most common terms assigned to new customers so that you won't have to change them for each customer record created in the future. Now note at the bottom, you must also set the general ledger account number that's used for customer accounts. So the most common sales account and the most commonly used discount account. Now on the account aging tab, you can set the default aging brackets for customer invoices. So you can choose to age by the invoice or by the due date and then enter the aging categories. The Custom Fields tab allows you to create up to five additional data storage fields, which you can use to assist you in tracking custom customer data. You define the field names within this window, and then fill in the actual values when you go to create each new customer record in the future. On the Finance Charges tab, you can set the default parameters under which you apply finance charges to customers. Finance charges are calculated by multiplying the number of days past due by the daily finance charge rate, then by the outstanding invoice amount. You can also choose how these finance charges will appear on invoices and statements. On the Pay Methods tab, you enter up to 10 methods of payment that your company accepts. These should be entered from top to bottom, starting with the most frequently used. You can also choose where to assign deposit ticket IDs for payments that you receive. You can actually choose to assign the deposit ticket ID in the Receipts window as you take the payment or in the Select for Deposit window, which allows you to group received customer payments and then assign them a collective deposit ticket ID, which tends to make account reconciliation much easier. Now, once you've set your desired customer defaults, simply click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.